Hi Paul, Sister J. Hope you're okay today. Um, it's good to see you. I just wanna. Uh, it's a it's a new era. All right. <laughs> it's a new era. Okay. And um, I'm just sharing uh, with you about no surrender. And um, I just want to share with you some thoughts. Um, <clears throat> today, I think. Um, I don't think we realize, I do think that as Christians we're heading for a crisis within our national governments in the West, in Britain uh, and in America and uh, in European countries. And that crisis is this, is that as the world gets more and more uh, in a flux, as Islam is going to rise and rise and gain strength and strength. Uh, politically in Europe uh, and around the world and when that happens it's going to cause more conflict there's going to be a lot more conflict in the Middle East uh, but at the same time as that happens the secular governments are going to be more and more nervous and they're going to take more and more control of our lives because they'll say it's in the interest of security and so things are going to get more totalitarian where um, you know even in America um, you used to have to give a warrant before you went into someone's house uh, but because of 9-11 um, the government uh, been a bit more lax so law enforcement officers can just go right into a house uh, without even showing a warrant and just examples like that um, where governments take more control than they should have. As they take con more control, uh, the secularist and, and the atheist will get schizophrenic and, will, and continue to bash Christianity. And that will affect individual people on the ground where individuals in communities will become more aggressive towards Christians. And the Christian church uh, will be challenged to give in on homosexual rights etc and in the end the church will have to start going underground there will have, they'll have to be uh, abandonment of buildings uh, and people moving into house churches that's what's going to happen in the next few years uh, I'm not strange in saying this uh, Paul Washer a famous Christian in America has, has warned that something is going to be happening and I think others. So I'm not. I'm not being. Uh, I'm, I'm not uh, saying something that even the best of the leaders, uh, evangelical leaders, are warning that the secular pressure on Christianity is um, becoming too forceful, and you know the pressure on Christians uh, is is getting stronger and stronger in the West in terms of. They want us to conform to their relativist uh, morality, which is not biblical morality. Um, now in that, a lot of Christians are not seeing that. They're settled in their materialism. They're happy with their materialistic lifestyle, with their house and their car and families. And many Christians have got their eyes closed, but many Christians are beginning to see the dangers ahead. And history repeats itself you remember uh, in the time of Hitler when the Hit Hitler wanted to kill the Jews people like Bonhoeffer and the Christians stood up against Hitler uh, and they lost their life but there were a lot of people in the church who agreed with Hitler gave in to Hitler okay were manipulated by Hitler in the state and at the moment there are a lot of Christians walking, sleepwalking, uh, with the in the, in in America and in the UK and in Europe, and they're just sleepwalking, happy with their materialistic lifestyle, happy with their happy clappy worship, and they're just going along with everything. But when in in the future, when the governments turn on Christianity, and they will turn on us, these secular governments will turn on us. They will insist that gay rights be applied in the church. And when we say no, we will go to prison for it. So they're going to turn on us. 
they will turn on us and we'll have to go underground we'll have to meet, meet in house churches and abandon the buildings what are we going to do the answer is no surrender the answer is we do not say we agree with you secular culture we don't surrender the Bible we say no this is the Word of God we stand on the Word of God we think the way you are going is sinful the way you are going is not according to the Word of God and our conscience cannot agree with it and we will not surrender our Bible we believe the Bible is the Word of God and if we can't meet in public we will meet secretly in our houses but we will never ever abandon our faith in Christ we will never surrender our belief in Jesus Christ as the Son of God as the only way of salvation we will always preach the Word of God we will always proclaim the Word of God and even if we're arrested for doing so so be it but we will ne never surrender our beliefs we will always believe Christ even in fire even in persecution we will preach the Word of God we will never ever surrender to you secularists you might beat us down and we might not be able to meet as we used to do but we will stand for our faith we will proclaim Jesus Christ we will not surrender to your secularism we will stand in the name of Jesus Christ and for his glory Philip in the early church was stoned to death at Phrygia AD 54 Peter tradition has it was crucified at Rome in AD 69 Paul was beheaded at Rome AD 69 Andrew was crucified at Achaia AD 70 Matthew beheaded at Ethiopia in AD 70 Thomas set spear to death at Calalmino AD 70 James the Less clubbed to death Jerusalem AD 63 and John abandoned at the Isle of Patmos AD 63 in the coming days we're going to have to make a choice things are going to get harder and tougher for Christians in our Western culture the days of easy believism are over you now need to make a choice are you going to be happy with your materialistic lifestyle clapping away at church and thinking all is well or are you going to jump in and follow Christ with all your life and all your heart are you going to start doing evangelism are you going to start going to the poor and the needy and proclaiming the Word of God are you ready for the persecution that's going to be coming in the West or are you asleep walking are you going to follow the governments when they turn on us or are you going to stand with the Christians who will have to meet in houses and fear for their life because they might be arrested because they will not bow to this secular culture what are you going to do you need to make your decision now and you need to prepare yourself now you need to get strong in the Word of God now you need to wake up what's happening you need to see what is happening the writings on the wall for the secular culture it is not going to be a land of milk and honey for the secularist people because these governments will turn our governments will turn totalitarian one day they will become controlling they will become powerful and manipulators and stop us from having our freedom and atheism won't save them the enlightenment will not save them rationalism and science will not save them and when their freedoms are taken away our freedoms will be taken away as well and there will be millions of Christians walking asleep following what these governments want to do but some of us will be awake and we will say we will not surrender we see that you have fallen away from true democracy and freedom but you have fallen into totalitarianism you are preaching and teaching as nations immorality and we refuse to bow to it 
and you trying to control the church but we're sorry the state is not the head of the church our Lord Jesus Christ he is head of the church and we stand with him you will not define our morality in the church our Lord Jesus Christ under the banner of his word will define our morality by faith Moses when he was come to years refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a season esteeming the reproaches of Christ greater riches than the treasures of Egypt for he had respect to the recompense of the reward American Christians and British Christians and European Christians what is most important to you to enjoy the pleasures of Egypt of today with all the pleasures the world has to offer or to enjoy the riches of Christ and to suffer with his people you need to make a choice in the coming days ahead because the battle is going to be fierce they're going to be pastors and congregations fighting for their life to preach the gospel but you're going to be asleep enjoying your materialistic lifestyle as the governments of the West become totalitarian and persecute the real people of God you'll be part of Satan's system asleep wake up and realize that you need to sound the call no surrender no surrender no surrender God bless you and take care